Good morning team and welcome to another Express It Logistics tutorial. Today, we're at the West SAC Warehouse learning the steps of the intake process. Step number one, trailer arrival and seal. As the driver arrives, the trailer is sealed. Someone will accompany him as the seal is then broken, assuring the load has not been opened. The driver will then start backing into the loading dock and make sure to hold on to that seal. Step number two, intake setup. The setup is usually done before the first trailer arrives. The very first thing to be done is move the conveyor into position, starting at the loading dock and extending back into the warehouse. Once the conveyor is in position, now is the time to place the pallets on both sides of the conveyor as shown in the video. As the pallets are being organized, the stores along with their corresponding numbers will be taped to the ground in front of said pallets, letting you know which boxes go to what stores in a later step. Make sure your intake setup looks like this. Step number three, input info into the database. The first step is to make sure the paperwork and the SID number match to what's on the computer. After matching the numbers, enter the trailer number which is listed on the paperwork into the computer as shown. Next to the trailer number, in a drop down menu, select which carrier it's coming from. In this case, it's KKW Trucking. Enter the driver's name next. If not on the paperwork, ask the driver directly. Then enter in the planned arrival time as well as actual arrival time. Then select the delivery date, which is today. Then enter in the seal number. The seal number is also on the paperwork as well as the seal itself that the driver removed. Make sure they match, then enter it now. If the seal was intact on arrival, click the box yes. If the driver was late, now is the time you would enter it in. After these steps are complete, click on the button that's labeled build preload. Once the preload is built, select send now. Once sent, open the Microsoft mobile app. Now dock the scanner. The information will now send to the scanner. Once complete, a pop-up menu on the scanner will come up. Click on New, then click Preload. The trailer load will appear. Click on it and press Next. The scanner is now ready to start scanning, which we will cover in a later step. Step number four, loading boxes on the conveyor. This step is very important and sets up the entire process of unloading. If you are in the trailer loading the boxes onto the conveyor, make sure the labels are facing upwards when put on the conveyor. This is so whoever's unloading the boxes off the conveyor knows what pallet to put it on, saving them a massive amount of time. Step number five, unloading the trailer. As the boxes are being loaded on the conveyor and making their way down the line, this is where all hands are on deck. Grab a box, the label will be facing upwards. Read the store number on the label and find the corresponding pallet. Make sure to face the boxes on the pallets with the label facing outwards. That way they can be scanned at a later time. This trailer has 900 boxes, so time to start moving. Step number six, swapping out a full pallet. Eventually, these pallets will fill up. Once a pallet is full, use a pallet jack to move the full pallet off the line and stage it towards the back of the warehouse. Make sure a fresh pallet is swapped out for the one you just moved. Step number seven, closing out a pallet. Staff will provide the info for every pallet. Find the matching paperwork for the full pallet. This is done by identifying the store number. Once the correct paperwork is retrieved, tape it onto one of the boxes as shown in the video. Next, scan each and every box on the pallet. 
Since the boxes were stacked with labels facing out, this becomes very easy. Once all the boxes are scanned, the palette needs to be wrapped. If you noticed all the different color paperwork, this is a color coordinated system on which day of the week it's supposed to be delivered to a customer. Once the palette is scanned, tagged, and wrapped, grab a palette jack and move the palette to the designated area. The color of the paperwork will determine the area. Blue goes to blue, yellow goes to yellow, etc. Bonus step, damaged boxes. If you come across a damaged box, put aside for now. Once you have time, scan the label on the damaged box. Then click damaged on the scanner itself. The next screen will allow you to choose what type of damage. In this case, it's crushed. Click back and you'll see the updated info for that particular box. Set the scanner down. Grab the customer supplied red tape and tape up the damaged area. Once taped up, put on the corresponding palette. Bonus step, store transfer. Occasionally you will come across a label like this, a store transfer. The original store is on top and the new store is written below. Scan the label as usual and put on the corresponding store palette. Step number eight, finish unloading the trailer. At this point, there will be many loaded, tagged, wrapped, and staged pallets. But as you can see in the video, once the last box get unloaded, several, if not all the remaining pallets aren't full. In this case, we now scan all the remaining boxes right where they sit. Also, a sticker will be put on near the label, identifying that these boxes have already been scanned. So when another trailer arrives, the process of loading the pallets will continue. And when the time comes to scan, you know which ones have been scanned already because of the sticker. Once the very last box is scanned, you can now accept the order. Sign the paperwork and hand to the driver. This trailer is now complete. Now we wait for the next one to arrive. 